Welcome to another uh, Battery 101. Today we'll be going over some of the top Google questions about LiPo batteries. These questions are organized in no particular order, but our goal is to clear up the many, many questions that you might have about your lithium polymer batteries. Question number one, what do all the numbers mean on LiPo batteries? Well, the numbers on a LiPo batteries label are there to give you the info on the battery you are looking at. Let's take this battery here as an example. This number here, 5,000 ma, is meaning 5,000 milliamp hours. It lets you know how much power the battery holds. The 11.1 .1 volts tells us the amount of voltage the battery will supply, while the 50C tells us the continuous discharge rate of the battery. Some batteries will have numbers before S and P on the label, and this tells you how many individual batteries are connected in series and in parallel. Question number two. How often should you discharge your LiPo batteries? You should always discharge or charge your batteries to the proper storage levels, which is 3.8 volts per cell, if you're not planning to use them within the next couple of hours. Question number three. What happens when a LiPo battery is swollen? Well, when a LiPo begins to swell, what you are witnessing is a process called electrolyte decompensation. This is essentially when the electrolyte begins to break down and you are left with a lithium and oxygen in the battery. The excess oxygen is what makes the battery cells swell and this is a process that occurs over time and use but can be exaggerated by overcharging, high voltage storage charge, high temperature storage charge, and many other situations. When you charge a swollen LiPo battery, the aluminum package will pop out and the battery's internal structure will be damaged. This is when we start seeing smoke and even possibly fires as the internal situation worsens. Question four, are swollen LiPo batteries dangerous? Yes, a swollen battery can be dangerous as an explosion or fire could occur like we said. We never recommend using a swollen battery. A, a swollen battery may catch fire during your charge or discharge cycle, so please dispose of them in a salt water bath. Question five, why did my LiPo battery explode? Well, okay. Before we answer this question, it's important to know that when people talk about their LiPo batteries exploding, they're most likely describing how their batteries swelled up, started smoking, and then maybe caught fire. Most of the time, this results from a damaged cell or overcharging or over discharging. The answer isn't always so black and white, and a damaged LiPo battery that is smoking or on fire is pretty complicated. As long as you take care of your batteries well, you should be able to avoid having your batteries catch on fire. Question six, how do I know if my LiPo battery is bad? Well, any damages that appear on the cell, such as swelling or cracks, indicate the battery is damaged and you should replace it. Question number seven, do LiPo batteries go bad from sitting? Yes, depending on how long the batteries have been stored and how much power was remaining in the battery when you stored the battery, the conditions of where you stored the battery also have an impact on this as well, such as storing them in a hot area. Question eight, what is a LiPo battery's nominal voltage? The nominal voltage is where the majority of the battery's capacity resides, and here's an example. You can see that more than 77% of the battery's capacity is between 3.95 volts and 3.35 volts. A battery's full capacity ranges from 4.2 volts down to 3.0 volts. Question number nine, do LiPo batteries get warm while charging? A LiPo battery should not get warm while charging at 1C rating. Charging at anything over 1C will definitely heat up the battery. If the battery is ever too hot to touch, immediately stop all functions and move the battery to somewhere safe and open. And finally, question 10. Why do LiPo batteries have two connectors? Well, you have a red and you have a black wire for the first connector, called the main lead. You also have a bunch of thin wires for the other connector, called the balance lead. The main lead is for discharging and charging the battery, whereas the balancing lead is for ensuring each individual cell's voltage in the battery pack stays equal with one another. So thank you for stopping by for this Battery 101. It's a little bit different. Hope you guys took something away from it. We thought we'd answer some basic questions that are floating around out there. As always, my name is Zach, and we'll be seeing you next time.